Hi guys, it's your girl Rachel Reed and I'm back with another tutorial. If you guys want to see how I created this beautiful style, these nice light passion twists, then make sure you just keep watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit that like button, hit that notification bell, and stay tuned for more tutorials coming up. All the products that I used for this tutorial will be listed in the caption, so make sure you check that out if you have any questions about what I use to create this look. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Rachel Reed Beauty. I picked up a few packs of the Free Tress Beach Curl. And this is a 12 inch. And we're gonna be using the color 1B. I pretty much already just washed and blew out my hair. So now we're just going to part it. So first I'm going to take my red tail comb and I'm going to just like section my hair off so that I can begin to part it in the partings that I want it to be in. Jamaican castor oil. We'll take a little bit of our edge control. We're gonna apply that to not only the root, but also the ends of our hair as well. Next, we're just taking two pieces of our twist hair, and we're gonna do two on each of our strands. Rubber bands. So what we're going to do is just part and section off our entire head and put the entire head into parts as well as section it into the rubber bands. So that way when it's time to install the, the twist and create the twist, it'll just be an easier process because we'll have to part it and put the rubber bands on. So I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. Applying the castor oil just helps to protect your hair and give it a little kneaded and added moisture to it prior to putting on your rubber bands and applying any of your edge control or gels to secure your parted sections. Because our ends is the oldest part of our hair, we wanna make sure that we give that a little extra love and attention to make sure that they stay intact and that your hair continues to grow while in your protective style. Parting is pretty much the hardest part. Thing takes the longest to do, but once you get past that part, the install part is quite simple and easy. So let's get started on that. So the first thing that we're going to do is separate some of the hair and clip it off. We're gonna need a crochet hook. And we're gonna take our hook and slide it right underneath our rubber band. I'm taking two pieces of hair, those two pieces, close the hooks, 
slide it underneath and we're gonna pull one side all the way through. You should have two pieces of hair on each side. And next we're just gonna separate our natural hair and begin to twist it around. to put it through this side close the hook drag it underneath I'm gonna slide this entire piece through so now we have two different pieces and what we're going to do is just separate my real hair into two different sections and join it with each side of our curly crochet hair. And next we're just going to start twisting this, but make sure that as you twist the hair around, you're twisting it at the same time. You're twisting it as it goes around. Twist it as it goes around. Twist and continue to do that throughout the entire twist that you are creating. You can even see the twist is forming and it's pretty secure from the root going down because once you release the twist, 
it's going to loosen up. It's pretty much going to have a mind of its own, do whatever it wants to do. So you want to make sure that you're twisting it as you're going around because this is going to make sure that it has nice even tension. So because I'm here towards the end of it, I'm going to take and separate it into three pieces. And we're actually going to braid a little bit of the end, not to not right it, not directly at the end, but right before you get to the end, you want to just braid a little bit of it. And this is going to make sure that it does not unravel. Then I'm going to take this piece, join it together, creating two and continue to twist down the entire twist. I like to just scrunch them up as well because this gives them a little bit more uniform look to the hair. So I'm just gonna scrunch that up a little bit. I really love the way this look turned out. It turned out so pretty. I will definitely be rocking this look for a minute. It feels so light. Like it doesn't even feel like it's there. It feels almost like it's my real hair. Like it feels so light. And that's definitely something that I love about certain protective styles is that the hair can feel just so light and airy. Give you time to just let your hair breathe, rest, and relax which is exactly what this style is going to be doing for me while we are in this COVID quarantine session. So I am very, very much loving this look. I can dress it up. I can dress it down. I can wear it in different ways, you know, pull it a little half up, half down action, you know, do like a cute little bun, um, a messy bun look. You know, you can do so many different ways, so many different things, you know, throw it to another side, you know, have it just like over to one side. So there's so many different ways you can rock this style. And that's one thing that I really, really love about it so far. It's just such a beautiful look. So pretty. I can, I mean, like, girl, look at, do you see her? She is just like gorgeous. I love it. I absolutely love it. I highly recommend it for any of my natural girls out there that's having a problem with trying to figure out what to do with their, their hair right now during this pandemic. Just tie it up and put it in the natural protective style, okay? Okay, that's the best thing to do right now. If you don't know what else to do, do a protective style. Keep, keep your fingers out your head. Wash your hands and keep them out your hair, okay? <laughs> So I hope you guys are staying safe, staying motivated, staying creative and encouraged. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit that like button, as well as hit the bell. Share this video with any of your friends, family. Come join the Rachel Reed Beauty family as well. So thank you guys for watching. I will see y'all next time. 